Welcome to Cam Look, your bi-weekly dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Every Tuesday and Thursday, a staff member or volunteer will talk about a work from the collection and pose questions for discussion. Check back at 10 a.m. on those days for new works and new conversations. Hi, I'm Jessica, the Art Bridges Fellow at the Cincinnati Art Museum, and today I'm going to be talking about a very unique work from our collection. This piece, titled The Green House, is a photograph by Sandy Skoglund, an American photographer and installation artist. Sandy Skoglund is known for her large format photographs of the surrealist environments she creates. While at first glance this may seem like a feat of Photoshop, this is a real room that Skoglund created with a variety of materials. In this room, we see a domestic scene laid out in what appears to be the living room of your average house but with this bright green grass which covers the floors, walls, ceilings, armchairs, and even fills the picture frames. The dogs also bring a unique spin to the scene as they are rendered realistically in plaster but painted blue and green and are filling the space, giving a dreamlike quality to the photograph. Skoglund began her art career as a painter, studying studio art and art history at Smith College in Massachusetts and later receiving an MFA in painting from the University of Iowa. After school, she moved to New York and began experimenting with conceptual art and themes of repetition and persistence. She liked creating long projects for herself and focusing on the process of creating rather than the final product. In the beginning, when she started moving into the idea of these rooms and installations, Skoglund used materials that she would buy and later dispose of, such as clothing hangers, jelly beans, cheese puffs, and other banal materials. She eventually decided she'd like to begin making more of her props herself, creating her first work with plaster animals with these sculpted cats based off the strays she saw around New York. This became an obsession, and she continued in this stride for years, creating multitudes of rooms with plaster animals or figures and photographing them with one or a couple models posed somewhere in the scene. Rather than disposing of the props from these installations as she previously had, she actually began exhibiting the installations themselves, some having even been acquired by the museums who exhibited them. When asked during a talk at the New York Film Academy about her career and how she began exhibiting in museums, Skoglund emphasizes the amount of time it took to get where she is now. She encourages students to persist, but also reminds them what art should really be about. She closes with the following statement. I just want to say, don't give up, keep going and just make yourself happy. It's really about happiness. For our discussion question today, I want you to use your imagination and pretend you are sitting on the couch in this room. Maybe you feel the soft, cool green grass on your skin, or you hear the barking and snuffling of the dogs as they communicate with each other and explore their surroundings. What would you think this room might smell like? How would you feel in this environment? Would you be happy to be surrounded by cute dogs or unsettled by the couch of grass? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for joining me for today's Cam Look. Don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. for new works and new conversations.